Hey, what's going on, party people? This is your man, Grill. Just want to let you know I'm doing a dot verify notarization right now. Just waiting on the user to log in. Already sent them, oops, the notification. So I'm just waiting for them to go in, do what they got to do. And um, just one signature. And we'll see how this works. This is a new tablet that I got, an A8, uh, Samsung Tab 8 or A8, something like that. I know I shouldn't know what it is. But nonetheless, trying it because found out was told that I can do IPN through dot verify since I have an account with them I figured I figured this out so right now it's showing that he's going through his ID check and I'm just waiting for him to finish his verification and what they call adopting the signature and if you've been looking at my videos on Ron you would know that so let's see here so we should be good to go and everything and just waiting for him. And this part can take a little while because they got to go through that two minute thing and all of that, but shouldn't be too much longer and all of that. And um, now what I've learned with the dot verify on, on this particular tablet, I have to turn it landscape or your landscape horizontal can't be portrait. I mean, it could be, but it doesn't seem to work as well or the viewing doesn't doesn't fit what I would like. So I'm doing it this way, um, landscape, and that seems to be better because it puts the two cameras. I can't, I know y'all can't see it, but it puts the two cameras right here on the side, the document area over here. When I turn it portrait, everything is sort of laid over top of each other. So I don't care for that. Um, so, yep, oath of affirmation that I'm doing. So you'll see me do the oath with him and everything. Um, and all that good stuff. So I'm just waiting for him to finish. I already got my cameras detected. And this is the part that takes the longest sometimes, especially if you got multiple signers and this is only one. So I'm just going through just waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, all right. It allows me to see the ID of the person so I can get to see his picture. Um, doing a face analysis and the driver's license and all that good stuff. Yep, all that's good. So we're straight there. If I can turn that off. So doing Ron can be very, very simple and easy depending on the user. If the user has difficulties, <laughs> it can it can be a headache, you know, or there's some technical difficulties for as um, firewalls and things of that nature. So if the user has firewalls implemented for safety and all that, it could block the videos being pushed through. Um, one of the things they have to do is say yes, that they allow dot verify have access to the camera and microphone. Um, and if they don't, then that becomes a problem. If they got certain types of virus protection on, on the computer or their laptop, tablet, phone, that could be a problem. Also VPNs, is a no-no, no VPNs, virtual private network. for That's what VPN stands for. So he's still going through, said he has an identity score of 50. He's finishing up putting all the other stuff in there. Um, so right now he's coming along pretty good. Um, and it has nothing to do with age because I've had some young folk struggle with this, older folks struggle. Um, identity verified. So he's adopting the signatures. All right, for some reason, what I needed on there wasn't, so I got to go back in here. All right, I just had to put the signature on there for him, so we good to go. So just waiting for him. Now tells me to start my remote session. I'm starting a remote session. Boom. Starting a camera. Just waiting for him. All right. Yep. Tell him to turn his camera on. And once he gets that camera on, we'll be able, we'll be good to go. Ah, it's not showing the right camera source. Okay. So I guess you can't hear me then either. If you can hear me speak. All 
Okay, how do you change it? That is a good question. Okay. Okay, you can hear me, but I get yeah, right. I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm wondering if there's a firewall issue. Um, hmm, that is interesting. Never had that happen before that the camera. And you got Elgato. So it's saying you got an Elgato camera. I'm familiar with those. And it's saying no signal from what I'm seeing. So it's not picking up the Elgato camera. Okay, so let me see. Let me hit this. I'm going to manually refresh from my side. Gives me that option to manually refresh the camera. And if anything pops up, you should be able to just tell it to, you know, give it permission to that camera. That is interesting. Never seen no signal. Ah, your gaming camera. Yeah, that's what I figured when I saw Elgato. All right, looked like it's trying to do a little something, something there. Okay, there we go. All right, I see you now, my man. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you okay, hear yep, I can hear you, but <laughs> that's all right. Okay. That's all right. Hey, just so you know, um, I do training on this type of stuff, Ron stuff. So I'm recording, but I'm not showing your picture. So they'll just hear your voice, <laughs> if that's okay with you. Okay. And if you might, because I can know. Okay. So they're just so I'm just showing them because I'm using a tablet. I got to teach people how to do this on a tablet and everything and all that that's good all right. stuff. But yeah, this is coming through good. So how you doing today, my man? Great, great. All right. So go to the next step. Begin recording. All right. So just look into the camera. Say your name clearly. And then you understand what we're notarizing a statement to the courts, correct? That's correct. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So one of the things I have to do is what is called an oath because this here is an affidavit that you're submitting to the court. So I just need you to raise your right hand, repeat after me, or just hear what I'm saying and then answer either yes or no. Do you solemnly swear or affirm on the penalty of perjury for the Commonwealth of Virginia that the answers you give to the affidavit and the statements that you're submitting to the court is true to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I swear. Gotcha. All right. So now I'm hit. So now you should be able to scroll down to the bottom of the screen, see the documents. You'll see a page that says sign document. That'll be where your signature goes. Okay. And you'll click on that. You either open the document up or just click sign document. It's the one that you submitted to me. And it'll um, apply your signature. Okay. Sign page. Yep, that's it. That right. Yep, you did it right. And okay. then I'm just going to add my signature. on here and then my notary stamp now with this once you um it should it'll email you a copy of this and when you submit it to the court there's a there's a cover page that comes to prove that it was an electronically done through dot verify make sure you leave that cover page on there just in case somebody questions like okay when they see the e-signature from you and my e-notarization that they'll know what system it came from um, sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, once everything is done, you'll get an email of the document. And with that, it'll have a cover page that explains that it's electronic. And just make sure you submit that too, so that they'll know the um, the legalities that it was undone on Dot Verified and has all of the critical information so that they'll know that it just wasn't done via Zoom or something okay. like that. Okay, so I need to... So when I get the document, I need to submit the whole thing. Right. Just give them the whole thing, including that cover page. Because okay. some, can, yeah. If my, if my sister is submitting it, can she submit or do I have to submit it? Well, whoever submits it, just, you, she, you can send it all to her. 
and she can submit it. Just make sure that cover page is there also. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, that is it, my man. Um, you did your part. I did my part. Thank you very much. And um, Just one moment. It's at the bottom. Is that all right? Say it again. At the bottom, it says one moment, please. Um, it's probably just waiting for me to do my thing, and I already did it. Okay. All right. That's and then I'll text you in a second. Okay. All right. Good. Have a good one. All right. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. Uh, do I just close this page, or it'll close out once I finish here? Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And that is it. Boom. <laughs> All right. That simple, that easy. I could have been in my car doing this with the tablet. Anywhere in Virginia, just set the um, venue for us, the city that I'm in, in this case, Virginia Beach. We got in, we got out, we're done, okay? Not complicated at all. This could be done, and, and this is really how I should work on all platforms, okay? So I got in, did my thing, we're done. I'm gonna text them the link to send me payment, and we are done, all right? So I just wanted to share that with y'all party people as how simple and easy that is. Again, I'm using Dot Verify. There's many, many other systems out there that you can use. As long as it works for you and fits your schedule, fits your personality, I guess, I mean, if your personality even matters in this, and you'll be good to go. So that's it. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one. Oh, comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, and ask any questions and I'll be glad to answer them back for you. Y'all have a good one. Peace.